Welcome back once again. My name is Rotuno Konyike. Thank you for staying with us on uh, KTN News for Scoreline. We've talked about a lot about what has happened locally and in the just concluded interview with Stephen Omwanga, we're all looking forward uh, to the LFNE Championship. That is LFNE 6 that is set for next uh, weekend, of course. And this part of the show, we have a lot of football action locally and also internationally and also not leaving out the big one, big one that is the nba finals which is in game four we saw golden state warriors level it out after beating celtics yesterday what is it going to be they're on a neck to neck a uh, pathway and when we talk about a neck to neck that reference is also uh, in the fkf premier league which for the first time in many years is down to the wire it is very competitive right now at the top we have tasca we have kk homeboys tied at 60 points with a different rather goal difference separating both teams right now we're welcoming rogers eshitemi in studio welcome rogers thank you so much for joining us today thank you rotuno for having me you're welcome of course a lot of people are looking forward to tomorrow uh, when the season comes to an end and it has been a very interesting football season locally I would say I don't know if you share the same sentiment <laughs> uh, let's say I think it's a uh, somewhat mixed feelings ahead to the season ender tomorrow mm -hmm. uh, we have had a lot of ups and downs as you understand FIFA suspension the confusion in the Kenyan football all of those things have been out in play but uh, the positive things that uh, the end is, the, the league is coming to an end tomorrow but now most more there are there are a lot of questions and answers on how the league is going to end because of course the competitiveness between um uh, defending champions tasca and uh, kakamega homeboys but also you have this fifa 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 intrigues whereby maybe is fifa going to and calf going to recognize the league from onset once when kenya was suspended by fifa that was on march 31st they were in white and black they said that indeed they are not going to recognize kenya until maybe some of the demands or rather some of the things they requested the government to do they are maybe fulfilled or rather they are uh, uh, taken in by the government but as we speak none of them has been fulfilled so I don't know it is a weird situation but it is what it is but now back on the pitch of course it has been interesting uh, there's a moment when uh, Kakamega homeboys was 12 points clear and Task were really struggling. They started the league on a poor note, but I think they gained momentum as the season continued. And right now, as you speak, they are tied on points, 60 points at the top ahead of the of the final match of the season tomorrow. And that means maybe it's only the goal difference that are separating the two teams. Task have a, a goal difference of post five, uh, that is, I think, 20, 21 goals or 22 goals against homeboys, 17 goals. So they have the upper hand and um, it is now theirs to lose going by what has been unfolding the, in, the, in, the, in the FKFPL because you understand um, Kakamega homeboys had a, a walkover uh, in their match against uh, Talanda who failed to show up for that match. So in essence I think it somehow complicated the title rest how it is because by that time, maybe homeboys were looking for to score more balls against uh, Talanta. But also, you have to remember that it is the same Talanta who broke a Kamega homeboys and beat and run some time back. So maybe it could have gone the other way. So maybe as some of the Kakamega homeboys fans feel, maybe there could have been an opportunity for them maybe to to avenge their first leg uh, defeat. But how many goals could they have scored? That's the question that most people could, might ask. And uh, at the same time, uh, Tasca have had a very good run. I can't remember when they last lost. And uh, as we speak right now, they are strongly in favor of, win, of retaining the title. Because with uh, a goal difference of five and playing a team of uh, Rangers caliber in their final match, then I'm pretty sure they know what is at stake. If they lose or if they drop points, then the title will go to Western. Mm -hmm. And I, it is for the first time, I think, in many years, like you have said earlier, I can't remember the last time our team from Western won the title. Maybe it could have been Mia Sugar way back in the 90s. But uh, I think that title, uh, it, was, um, it was given, I think, due to some much fixing allegation. I think the Federation took the title back to Nairobi. I can't remember the team won that title. And uh, right now, I think now, 
come Mega Homeboys, they have to play Sharks tomorrow, but there's likelihood Sharks will not travel to Kakamega. So as we speak right now, Homeboys will be having two walkovers. That is uh, against Talanda and also against uh, Kariobangi Sharks. And when you get the walkover, I think we all know that you get two goals. Mm -hmm. So it will be two goals and that, that narrows it to 19 and 21 mm -hmm. before maybe knowing what uh, the, the outcome of uh, Tasca and uh, Sharks game. But from that analysis, I think the title now is Tasca's to lose mm -hmm. because it will be difficult yeah, for homeboys to score more goals with an opponent that is not there. So Tasca, it is them now to play on the pitch and ensure they don't drop points against uh, Posta Rangers tomorrow. If we can still stay on the pitch and you know you've mentioned some of the fixtures that are going to happen tomorrow i just want us to quickly uh, run through what is expected uh, tomorrow some tough matches there when you talk about tasker meeting uh, post uh, rangers uh, we also have kakamega homeboys you know going head to head with kariobangi sharks and zoya sugar on the other hand we have fc leopards nairobi city stars and uh, talanta fc there you know we have the likes of wazito uh, playing against Vihiga Bullets. We have Sofapak FC taking on Ulinze Stars. Bitco United, on the other hand, uh, expected to go head to head against KCB Police uh, there with Bandari FC. And Eshitemi, you know, we've been able to see how the season has panned out, how these individual teams, you know, have played. According to you, um, who do you think stand out apart from the top guns, you know, uh, at the top of the log? Who has managed to impress you so far? even despite whatever has been happening in local football? I think I can't single-handedly pick a team because most of these teams have been blowing hot and cold. There's no team that has been consistent. Just case study of Tasca. Tasca started the league on a bad note, but as the the league progressed, the season advanced, they gained that momentum, and now they are on the verge of retaining their title. Same to Homeboys. Homeboys had a good start, but now midway through the league i think consistency was not their thing so they had also maybe to start dropping points in matches they could have won easily and that is somewhat affected them i remember i think at certain period of the season homeboys were 12 points clear and tasker were still struggling now begs the question what really happened with homeboys i think they are the they are, i think they have themselves to blame for the situation they are in right now because they should have won this title long time ago but some extent i think also in football is all about experience and uh, mental strength as well as uh, luck luck might come in one way but mental strength and experience and also the type of coach you have plays a key role on how to win the title. Because looking at uh, Kakamega homeboys, they might have lacked that experienced players and the mental strength maybe to push the other players and even the team itself to the title victory. Look, compared to Tasca, Tasca's big players in the name of uh, uh, Humphrey Mien, who has won a couple of titles. We have... Um, uh, uh, Patrick Matasi, those are some of experienced players who have also played outside the country and that they've been in the, with the national team for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. So I think in one way or another, that is an advantage to Tasca. And also now look at the coach, uh, Robert Mal uh, Matano for Tasca. This is a coach who has won, I think, three li league titles with mm -hmm. different clubs. And compared to Malala, who is just uh, who hasn't won a title? I think the the, the only trophy he won could have been the domestic cup, the FA Cup, mm -hmm. while he was still at Bandari. Mm -hmm. So the two coaches at least have some differences, and they are not at par. But um, I feel Tasca knew what they wanted as they continue gaining momentum, and I think that it, that happened after maybe the management tried to. Uh, to summon the coach and some of the players and ask them, hey, guys, we need to know that you indeed you are getting all the resources or the support from the management and you need to give it back for us through performance. And exactly that's how things change for Tasca. As we wind up, Rogers, let's talk a bit about the meeting, very briefly run through the meeting that is going on today, you know, with expectations that uh, maybe uh, some decisions will come out that will positively impact Kenyan football. But will this be the case? We both uh, don't know at the moment. But what do you think about whatever is going on today? I think 
what is happening um, for those of int uh, Kenyan football at heart, the interest of Kenyan football at heart will be keenly following what will transpire at Kasarani. Uh, from what I saw on the agenda, there are some few agendas talking about maybe the effort of the Kenyan football on what has been happening, the confusion. They're trying to bring sanity into the game. But now the question is, are they really working for the interest of the Kenyan football? That's another because we have we have been this confusion since November last year when um, the CS Amina Mohamed disbanded the FKF and installed a caretaker from caretaker. Now we are in the transition committee. But even before I talk more about that, we are, another question that I will ask maybe these teams have played all that that period. The uh, KPL teams have played, but what are they gaining? They are not going for CAF Champions League. What about the prize money? Nobody knows about the prize money. That, that prize money has been kept secret. Nobody knows as we speak, and the season ends tomorrow. Yeah? So for the meeting that's going on maybe at uh, Kasarani, maybe it could be, um, they could be, it could be some, a white smoke for the Kenyan football lovers. Who knows? Let's wait and see what's going to transfer from that meeting. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Of course, a lot of questions surrounding Kenyan football. Uh, the season comes to an end tomorrow. We're looking